I recently came across these battery cables on AliExpress. So I had to order them and test them. In this video, I'll break down the quality. See how they perform under a 200 amp load and compare the cost to popular welding cables on Amazon. These can come in handy, especially if you have to wire a lot of batteries in a series parallel configuration like my client. Here are the three attention points I check when buying these pre-made cables. The first one are the lux. Good quality lux are thick, heavy and are crimped properly. You can spot cheap ones by how thin they are. I made a short video to show the difference between the two. And the second is the insulation. These particular cables use silicone insulation rated at 200 degrees Celsius. I will explain why it matters in just a minute. And the third is flexibility. A flexible cable usually means it's made with fine copper. And that's what you want. Let's now test if the cables get warm under load. This is a 2 gauge cable or 35 mm square and it's rated for 200 amps. I'm going to run it off my 2000 watt inverter and it can pull around 175 amps max. One hundred sixty seven amps. Still 184 amps. So it's been a few minutes and as you can see, the cables are not getting hot. I registered a maximum temperature of 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's talk about the temperature ratings of a conductor. The cable insulation temperature ratings affect how much current your cable can handle. For PVC insulation, which is rated from 60 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius, is commonly found for normal cables. These can be TW, THHW or any other listed in this table. Welding cables are usually made of synthetic rubber and are rated for 105 degrees Celsius. These cables are rated for 200 degrees Celsius and they have silicone insulation which allows for more current to go through the same size copper conductor. So even though we have a 2 gauge PVC cable that can carry 130 amps, this cable is the same size and can carry 200 amps. That's just because of better insulation. I also bought a cheaper cable that was being advertised as using silicone. As you can see, is not silicone insulation because it's not as flexible. Just compare it with this one. So be careful in which one you buy. Let's compare the prices on short pre-made cables. For a 12 inch 4 gauge cable, Windy Nation sells it for $12.80 and a similar cable on AliExpress will cost you $15, 
so it's a little bit more expensive. But the Windy's Nation is rated at 105 degrees Celsius and can handle 150 amps. And the one from Aliexpress is rated at 200 degrees Celsius and can handle 180 amps. So you're paying a bit more, but you're getting a higher current rating thanks to better insulation. Now let's compare the cost of buying the cable in bulk, 15 feet of 4 gauge red and black, which is 25 mm square and 5 meters each, will cost you $62 on Amazon. On Aliexpress, the same cable will cost you $130, so about double the price. So here's my advice. For short, pre-made cables like these, Aliexpress can make sense. And if you don't have access to 105 degrees welding cables like I do. But for large amounts of cable, it's better to buy locally because of the heavy weight being shipped overseas. I did find a 200 degrees silicone insulated cable up to 2 gauge on Amazon and I will link it in the description if you're interested. So what's my advice? I do recommend getting these specific cables for your setup but only use the one I have linked because I checked the quality of them. Some other sellers have bad quality or use cheap lugs. If you're interested in off-grid solar power, check out my book. And I will think you will like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.